Um, musically, I go by the name of, you know, uh, Prince Nagasi. And, you know, my music is to spread awareness of self <laughs> and reconnection of, of Africans, that, um, Africans in the diaspora back home. And, you know, it's, it's a joy. And, you know, you can find my music on any platforms online, you know, at, at Prince Nagasi, whether it's Google, it's Facebook, Instagram, all the music platforms and the iTunes and stuff, any, any of that stuff, um, you could find the music and, you know, check it out. I would say are my earliest in like um, you know basics early school. I used to play drums, I played like mm -hmm. African drums, and okay. and did like a dub poetry and stuff. And then my grandma, she's like uh, she's a, a Christian, so I, I ended up singing in church okay. and stuff like that. And um, my dad, my dad's uh, um, my dad sings and he does DJing and he makes clothes and and crafts okay. and stuff like Whoa. that. And my um. And then my cousin's a famous reggae artist. His name is Sizzler um, Kalanji. So I did uh, the 23 and Me first. Yeah. Right. And and that gave me just an overall ad mixture of just um, different percentages of how much African you are or something. So that wasn't enough for me when I did it. Okay. You know, but it gave me, but it gave me an uh, an Apollo group, yeah. right? An Apollo group. It gave me from my mom's line. Show the connection mm -hmm. running from show it starting in I believe East Africa near the Nile. Then it shows it come into Central Africa, huh? or it, it goes further into Vio with ships. So okay. for me, I was trying to research all these things to like wait. So who you know, it kind of opened up a new you know door for me to to, to, to explore mm -hmm. and then one of my friends um did his uh, african ancestry yeah and uh, told me of, and told me about it and you know once he told me about it i just made you made just way to, to save and you know and, and and get everything ready to you know do the test because i've had mm -hmm. other results for other side mm -hmm. of, of my family but you know i'm very close and raised by my mom and my grandma and that yeah, yeah. line is just all I know you know so I made sure that that was um the test I did you know okay. and I give thanks to my friend sharing it to me you know oh that's amazing so if mm -hmm. I understand where you did your your ancestry you wasn't happy mm -hmm. as well it wasn't exactly what he was looking for yeah yeah it wasn't exactly that what I for. yeah because they're quite different the African ancestry is the 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 best one Cameroon, what was your, because a lot of people doesn't have an impression that, you know, Cameroon is, yeah. what, what country is that? You know, what, you know, yeah, what? that's the thing, so, so in the time of me scrambling, um, through, after doing the 23 and Me, I started studying all these tribes and uh -huh. you know, all these places, and I started looking at the Aplo group, like, where would it be? So some people are saying Central Africa, not always West, so uh -huh. I'm telling my friend, and he's like, no, man, we're from, like, way 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 west da, 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 da. and i was just like no man but you know something so i started telling him about uh that there is a tribe called the t-car and the yes, yes. people because oh. i i seen the the, the oh you know, so you knew the, you knew about the chicago yeah i knew of the tribe from. yeah yeah it's just something that i seen mm -hmm. it one day and i wrote it on a list like mm -hmm. on a paper like this tribe and this because my my mom's dad's side is of uh is of uh fulani so after I after I went in and looked at all of that, I then oh, was like, "No oh, man, I need to find the mother creation, right?" You know. Okay, so okay. I uh, I um, started looking up those mm -hmm. tribes, started studying, studying. I was like, I don't know which one it would be, uh -huh. but um, I'm gonna study. I'm gonna study as much as I you know as much as I can, okay. you know, to get to that. And then so when I got the results, mm -hmm. I was leaving a, a, a farming job. You know, I just got stuff. I just got back in the car oh, and right. just popped up. 
And man, I was just like, I was in awe, just like, whoa, camera, you know? Like, it was something that was drawn to me, and I was like, wow, you know what I'm saying? Until now, even now, I'm still like, so I'm the people of camera. You know, I just went on the whole thing, like, don't ever let anybody, you know, we live in this country where things can seem racist and people say things, hold that strength. You are a Bemeleke woman, and Bemeleke mm -hmm. women are a very strong, nurtured woman. Oh, yes, you know? yes, yes, And, and I was, just, I was and, you know, with just my, my genetic knowledge, I uh -huh. just, like, you know, just felt it, you know, because I was raised by my mom and my grandma, and that so happens to be there lying. was so happy that I got most of, all everything from as far mm -hmm. as how I move and do things. So when I told my mom, mom was like, "What?" And I sent her pictures, and all this stuff. And oh, I you had a like, picture. Look at research. I have a picture of the Babylon cave people. Yeah, and yeah. You sent so it to I her. Really uh -huh. Sent it to her and stuff. And like she left work, and I was like, wonder if she's gonna, you know, take this in. Like how I take this in. And she's called me back after, and she's like, "Wow, I see the resemblance." And she just, you know, and she seen it's like. Cool. The hard workship and the mm -hmm. entrepreneurship and the, the always looking. And that's how she is. My mom is like uh, one of those people that's fully running. So she fully resonated with that mm -hmm. uh, and the looks. And then when she's seen Erica Badu, she's like, wow, we could be twins. She's like, and she's also <laughs> better like it. So, you know, my mom was like, you know, so it was like a strength. It was a strength on uh, a level with my grandma. So then we were reading the thing about um, mm -hmm. them still holding their African spirituality. Um, with yes, being yes, said either Christian or being said exactly, um, Islam. Exactly. And my grandma is like a mm -hmm. Christian woman. And I was like, mom, you know, I was like, grandma, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of them, you know, a lot of them end up um, um, some being Christian as well, mm -hmm. but they still mm -hmm. hold on to that. And she loved that. Up to the Bamile case. So what do you know about the Bamile case trial? So what I, I've i seen of the Bemeleke tribe, I've seen a lot of the crafts and the, and, and, and the art at the, first, at the first sight of when <laughs> I looked at the Bemeleke people and the, the patterns alone just drawed me into it. I was like, whoa, this is stuff that I, that I like a lot, you know, that drawed me into it. And then I started looking into stuff and then it said stuff about um, um, tra traveling from the Nile. And, you know, and yes. stuff like that. And I'm a big history person. So I started looking into all of that and um, mm -hmm. different migration patterns and just the, the ways of music and the tradition. Yeah. I started like looking at, you know, there was only so much, so much stuff. Yeah. But I was just looking into it, you know, um, as much as I could, you know. Cameroon used to be a German colony before the British and the French came in Cameroon. So there used to be used to speak German. The Bamleke origin traced to Egypt, migrated to what is now Northern Cameroon between the 11th and the 14th century. So, so they migrated from there to Sudan and then from Sudan to Northern Cameroon. If you look at the map of Africa over here, you know, you can see how those Sudan is there. Let me just look. Yeah. You got Egypt is there. So they went from there. They went over here. They stayed there for some time. And then they migrated there from Chad, and then they end up over there in Cameroon, and then they went over ah, there. Yeah, yeah so that's <laughs> funny. So um, the Bamleke are the native people of free region on Cameroon, namely the West Cameroon. So over here, the Northwest, which is over here. So the Northwest again is the the, the Chica and the Bamleke. So they mix the English speaking part of Cameroon. And yeah. Then, Exactly, and then the southwest as well. So it's all this area from here to there. That's all the Bamileke over there. All. Okay. For the greater part of the people are from the west, uh, the west region. It is estimated that almost half of Bamileke are from the English-speaking region of Cameroon. So it's true. So most of the Bamileke, because they mix with the Chica, everything they're from the English part of Cameroon. And then there are 123 Bamileke grouping. Ooh. 123. You know, mm -hmm. so that's why I'm saying that when somebody says I'm Bamileke, you know, there's a massive, 
there's one group which is actually good because they're actually very 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 connected they're very, mm -hmm. very connected yeah but uh, again so if you look at the picture over here you can see that yeah yeah i can see it. the picture at the left is uh, the balaji in egypt the original egyptian at mm -hmm. the traditional kind of like a party and then at the, the right is the modern bamleke today so you can see a lot of similarity about uh, yeah, the, 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 how they dress and how they hold in the thing you know everything is, is something they kept until today when you yeah. come to cameroon what you're gonna see if you go to a party a bamleke thing funeral or kingdom thing you're gonna see exactly the same thing like that today okay yeah okay. i see the similarities so the public mm -hmm. and the chica are the people of the graphy unique with the same single language and the single chip broke up mm -hmm. around so they broke up around 1353 mm -hmm. on the death of their last soul uh, king so when the king when the one of the king dies, so that's how they, they broke up. So oh, okay. uh, the first Bamileke king was called Yende. Yende. The first prince refused the throne, close the noon. So he refused the throne. So he was he's supposed to be the king of the Chica. So he refused it. And then he went over a city called Bafusa, which is the Bamileke town, and then he 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 created a city. And then mm -hmm. his sister turned to the region of Banso and then he, she created other Bamileke region over there. So again, it's the same family. The Bamileke, the Chica, they're all the, the same family. So you're going to find that some Bamileke, they're still uh, like a Christian or Muslim or whatever. But mm -hmm. they've got the ancestral culture which they believe they, they, they attach it they put it together too exactly exactly mm -hmm. so we got the bamileke god which we call the c is a uh, n s i mm -hmm. bamileke is a trap Mm -hmm. so within the Bamileke trap, you've got so many villages. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. You hmm. know? So there's not like a, a main Bamileke king. You know, there's different, different kingdoms. And then that go back again on the fact that the Bamileke, they all wanted to be uh, rulers. So mm -hmm. like in the family, uh, maybe if I got maybe four kids, and then they're all boys. You know they're gonna say that you know what i want to be king as well so the only way to be king is to move away from my home and then find a different place somewhere where they're gonna go and care that place and they're gonna be king over there so that's how the family kids just split okay so that's how they split into wow exactly okay. that's how they split that but they're okay. still very 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 uh solid amongst the family kids they're very very solid and even they got different kind of like a language, but uh, you can understand and probably about five or six linguistic group, but mm. you can still understand. Just How do you feel now? Well, I feel, man, I feel so much, I feel so much energy and strength you know in knowing that um you know that that um a woman made it across mm -hmm. to the next side you mm -hmm. know and, and 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 you know and 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 reproduced reproduced to get to my grandma to get to my mom to me mm -hmm. and that strength that feels great that that my people still exist and are strong and are you know and are there it's you know you know, I'm waiting to get back to, to get back to them in the physical as I am in the mental right now. African ancestry is the, is that way. 
go back to 500 to 2,000 years back in your DNA. And like we said, DNA don't lie. It don't, so, it don't lie. <laughs> yes, that's what I would say. I would say just go for it with no, you know, as, a, as, a, as, a, as someone with melanin, as anyone on the West, you know, that's, it's going to be a strength to you. You hear it from me. That's right, I know fit is stress. We not go get caught in a messy situation. We make them lock eye and I don't have station. So I sing praises, be to the prince of peace. I see, I see, I, I and I am. 